Hey there, it's Jeffrey Douglas, and this episode, this is the second video I'm doing on my new Starlink, and in this one I'm going to talk about power consumption and speed. So I got out to today in Anzabrego, it was really crowded and uh, had to go out to one of my more remote sites, which was nice, so I could test the uh, Starlink, Starlink system. And um, I'm very pleased with it. I'm really super excited. I, I, it's just an amazing piece of kit and you start to think about going up and getting your signal from the satellite and coming back and not having latency that's like the uh, the old satellite TV systems and everything. It's just, it's it's amazing. And, you know, as the satellites get more and more of them, service should get that much better. So um, what I did today was I did some speed tests and I'm going to put over the video here a couple of results of those speed tests. And I was very pleased uh, over all very good speed, latency was not bad, upload speed and download speed were very acceptable. And I'm in an area that's not completely free of, um, of north, I've got some mountains to, to the north of me, but uh, very pleased with it. The other thing I wanted to do was kind of monitor uh, the power consumption. I used the Anchor 567 to power it and it was between 40, 50, and maybe 60 uh, watts, which is kind of expected. Obviously, you don't want to run this thing all the time if you're overlanding, even with a big power bank like I have, that's gonna run through your power pretty quickly. But what I will do is simply, uh, when I want to stop at lunch or something, I'll check my email and voicemail and text and I'll do the same at night and then I'll just turn off the unit and I'll download any movies or Netflix or YouTube videos that I want to watch for that evening. So I made a call um, today to my brother and uh, sister-in-law in Idaho and uh, sounded really super clear. They had no idea that I was calling from Starlink. I even tried a FaceTime call and uh, really pretty good couple couple times it got a little bit uh, jittery but for the most part was able to show them my location and where I was uh, checked on Kiki to make sure Kiki was okay and stuff like that so I hope you found this uh, second video helpful I'll be doing another one in probably five or six months once I've had some more experience with it and I'll keep you updated in the meantime, if you like overlanding videos and land rovers and photography and video, please consider subscribing. Would be very grateful. Trying to grow this channel this year. And uh, remember, get outside.